Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome if you are new and if you are new, please comment below. Let me know so I can give you a proper welcome there. Okay. So if you watched my last video, you know that we are taking our first family vacation to Disney world. Um, I have been my husband and three children ages almost nine, five and 20 months old have not been. So I have been researching a ton. Um, I have actually planned this trip once before. We were nine days out from our trip and the pandemic hit. So we have not been able to go. So we are really excited about this trip and finally being able to take it with almost everything open back up. And so I feel like we're going to get our money's worth. So I know that my channel shares a lot of home decor and cleaning and organizing and things like that. Um, but I do want to share parts of my life with you all. And especially if it makes it easier for you to plan your trip. Um, I know that I have been researching and watching a ton of Disney family vlogs just to make things easier for our trip. And I feel like I've gotten a lot of tips, um, from watching those that I can share with you all and then some things that may be different. Okay, so for the, for the first thing that I'm going to show you all, I know that everything would not fit on my bed to show you all or just even, even in my room. So I'm going to start by sharing just categories. So this right here is actually an idea I had from or I got from years ago um, and I had already started this. These are pixie gifts. And I don't know if it's still a thing. I know that um, back then, a lot of the moms would talk about pixie gifts. And it's kind of like Santa Claus each night you're there. Um, you leave out bags, um, little Disney bags like those there. And you leave them out and Tinkerbell comes in your room each night and fills them up with just little goodies um, just to get them excited for the day and being down there at Disney. Um, so I had already had most of this from our previous plan or our previous planned trip um, back in 2020. And um, so now we have added another baby since then. So I had to go back and get more. And I also decided not to do it while we're down there. I feel like it's going to be hectic and crazy enough. Um, do I really need to remember to, you know, stay up and do things like that? So um, actually, she's already visited our house and already gave our kids all these sweet little goodies. Now, is this important? Do you need this? Absolutely not. Does it add to the magic? Yes. Is it budget friendly and frugal? Absolutely. Um, and that's why I'm sharing it with you all. Um, I feel like it did start the excitement train for our family and um, just to see them get all these little goodies. Now, um, will we take all of it? Probably not. I feel like this is a lot um, to pack, but I do feel like we're going to take quite a bit of it because we will have one long ride, um, that we are going to break up, um, from East Tennessee. Um, we're going to pick up my aunt on the way. She lives in Atlanta and, um, we'll stop there for the night and then, uh, leave out early the next day. So it's, it's a good while. Um, a good drive for us. Plus with three little ones, it's going to be a lot of stops. So coloring books, um, you know, stickers, all these little activities will definitely help with that ride. So I do feel like these are needed. Um, so let me go through just real quickly what we have here. Um, a lot of different coloring books and activities. And a lot of these, you can tell they're already bent because they've been in storage for years, just anticipating this trip here. So I think I got almost everything that you see here on at Dollar Tree. Uh, guys, it does not have to be expensive. And this was even a lot of this stuff was when everything was a dollar instead of a dollar 25. So I saved money then anyways. So, um, okay. So I've got coloring books, bubbles, because the kids did get bubble ones for Christmas and that will save us some money, uh, down there. Um, we won't be buying them in the parks, um, unless they do have gift cards that they have been collecting for the last three or four years, um, from my, my grandmother and grandfather, um, they are Disney fanatics. And so they have been sending them gift cards every once in a while, and they have racked up quite a bit of money, uh, spending money down there. So they have a lot to spend down there, which won't, you know, now be coming out of our pocket. So I thought that was a great idea. Um, so anyways, um, they've got bubbles, 
stickers, all kinds of stickers, markers, which I hope still work because those have been in storage for years. Um, these little activities with stamps. We've got these little grab and go packs. Also, if you're like us and you have res uh, reservations for dining plans, like table, you know, table sit down meals, I have um, each of my kids has a, we call it a restaurant bag, and um, we will actually pack a lot of this stuff to go in to their restaurant bag each day um, because this will keep them busy until the food comes. And I promise you, it is a mom hack you're not going to want to live without after that because um, we did that on our last trip to Dollywood. We stayed up there for a weekend. We had the restaurant bags, and the kids loved filling them before we went each time. And, um, and then playing with the items uh, while they waited for the food. It made the whole experience a lot better. So we've got these, all these different items. They didn't have any of these for RID. Um, when I went back, they actually didn't have near as much as they used to. Um, so I was really hoping to get Ridley one of these. Um, but I did find some stuff, like there's a little puzzle things like that. They also have all of these washcloths and they still have quite a bit of these still left. Um, so definitely if you're, um, you know, obviously going to be down in Disney for a while and you want the kids to take a bath, even though they're probably exhausted or they're just way too excited and overstimulated, these might help out. Um, also has some little card games. Um, they had this little puzzle years ago. And then I got these from Aldi here recently. This was one of the kids' um, Christmas gifts, so I got that for Rid. This one was from, or for Blake, and then this one is for Sophie, of course, because it has Jasmine on it. Okay, and then also, I've had these for years, and I don't even remember where I got them. Um, this is what all the characters that we meet, what they'll sign. This is actually a pillow cover, and I don't remember where I got it, and I wish I did. I actually researched forever one day i mean i think it took a whole day looking and looking and looking for this exact thing um because i really wanted ridley to have one as well um i know they make the cheap books from amazon and that's a great idea too i still have mine from when i went uh you know years ago but i thought this was a little more practical and it can just remind them of the trip you know they can sit it on their bed um and just remember, you know, their trip that they had. So this one's Blake. Of course, this one is Sophie's. And so what I decided to do for Ridley's is I just ordered a blank pillowcase from Amazon. And my sister-in-law has a Cricut. So she is making that exact print um, for Ridley. So I'm really thankful that she's able to do that for me. So that is actually what we're going to be doing for our autographs. I hope it's not a pain getting in and out of backpacks um, for characters to sign. But... Maybe not. Um, they did come in these little bags that I've had for years. Um, and then, of course, I had another little frozen one for Rid, but she ripped it open. So um, that's just where I've been storing it, but I probably won't take those at all. Um, we'll probably just go ahead and put these in their little backpacks and have them all ready. Um, if you're asking, if you ask where I have, I, or excuse me, where I got these little gloves and Mickey shoes. Um, my grandmother, like I said, is a Disney fanatic. She gave those to me, um, to surprise the kids and please excuse the ladybugs. Actually, those are Asian beetles, Asian lady beetles or something like that. Um, they have invaded our house and they normally start every year in November. They're a pain to get rid of and they actually stink when you kill them. So please ignore that. But, um, we got those, um, from my grandmother she said surprise the kids with this they'll love it but we are not packing that i think it'll take up way too much space and then the donald duck in the background actually has a very sentimental memory that is the donald duck i bought when i was in eighth grade um when i went on my my family trip with my mother's uh, father and um my grandmother um, we went to Disney then however it was a close call for not going my um my my dad's dad was actually um, dying of lung cancer, and um, he he gave my sister and I, he said, no, y'all go, y'all go, 
go on your trip, enjoy it. Don't worry about me. I'll be here when you get back. So it was a very difficult decision for my parents to decide to go. Um, but we went anyways. And actually, my papa had decided to give us money that I know he did not have. Um, he gave us some money each and we got to spend it. And I'm so glad that I was mature enough to think of something that would remind me of um, him. And um, his name was Donald, and his favorite animal was a duck. So, of course, I got the Donald duck uh, in memory of him, and I have just kept it. I will always keep it. Um, but I just sat him out here because he's absolutely adorable, and my kids have enjoyed loving on him before we go. So, that is that story. So, all right, I'm going to put all this away and then try to show you the next thing. By the way, while I'm packing this stuff up, um, I don't think I finished the rest of that story. Um, he was uh, still alive when we uh, returned. We went at the very end of April um, and we were able to show him um, what we bought with our money and spend uh, the last few days together with him. He died on uh, May 16th. So we did have a couple more weeks with him and I just wanted to know, wanted you all to know that there was a little bit of a happy ending there. <laughs> Okay, so I just laid out uh, most of the items that I will be taking into the parks with us um, each day. We will be going to Magic Kingdom the first day we're down there and the last day, and then we will be doing um, Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios. We decided not to do Epcot um, just because we have such young children, and I felt like that was geared more towards um, adults. I know they have some rides for kids, but I felt like when I made the list of all the attractions in each park, um, I feel like my kids would like Magic Kingdom more so that it also gives us another day to um, do anything that we weren't able to do before. Okay, before I start uh, going through um, everything that I'm going to have with me in the parks, um, or just most of everything. Um, I did get the idea, um, or just, you know, help me remember and keep everything situated. Like, um, what I, what I need to pack, um, things that you really have to have because it is a must have accessory list. Um, it's from BE Family Travel and I found this printable on, um, Etsy. So definitely check that out because it's going to help you keep everything organized. So I will be holding this little crossbody bag I got from Amazon. It has like two different kind of pockets. I've used this be many times before, um, even once in, actually twice, once in a zoo and once in um, Dollywood. So it really does help. I'll probably have everything like really, you know, wallet, phone, everything in here. Um, but then we'll also have a diaper bag. And then my husband will also be carrying a backpack as well. So I mean, I'll have all of this kind of divided up, uh, depending on where it should go. Now, diaper bag has the normal essentials like, um, well, I have wipes and diapers, change of clothes, you know, anything for Ridley, um, you know, to keep in there. But then, um, I'll also have these ponchos these are the kids version and then this is the adult version just in case I'm not even sure the weather in the winter time um, in Florida but hopefully we won't need those but you never know um, like I said I don't know if we'll actually need sunscreen down there in the winter but I'm packing it just in case because it was on the list and then bug spray as well um, I know when you're at the beach you don't really ever see bugs um, however, you know, Orlando's kind of in the middle of the panhandle, so I don't know if they will have the bugs or not. So, packing all that just in case, I uh, found these cute little shortbread cookies, um, from TJ Maxx, and they were on clearance for $3. Um, I got the frozen ones, and then I also got the princess ones for the girls to eat, and I hope they, <laughs> yeah, they're still good. Like, the expiration date is... 7, 5, 23. So we're good. I don't know why they were on clearance, but well, they had a lot. So that's probably why. Um, so we got those to go down there. Um, these are the bubble ones that we are taking. Um, this came from the Disney store and I got this for Sophie three years ago. Um, 
So we're just now finally getting to use it. Now I should probably check to make sure that it still works. And then Blake has this Spider-Man. And then this year I was in a hurry to find one for Rid. So I just grabbed this one. I think it came from Amazon. And it has lights and sound. Plus it comes with some bubbles. And it was much cheaper than the other two. So I went ahead and grabbed that one for her. Um, I've got Band-Aids for probably blisters on her feet. And they even had the Pixar uh, themed ones. I have some Advil. Sorry, Redley's in here. She's playing. Um, I have this Lysol disinfectant spray just in case we need to spray anything down that we feel is really dirty like everything is out there. Okay, sorry if you hear a sound. Yeah, Ridley is playing with a toy. Okay, so then we also have these wet ones that I can just put a pack in each day. Um, I'm sure we won't use a whole pack in a day, but they're there. Um, I also found these. Where did I find these? I think at Walmart. Um, just little snack containers. So we'll see. We'll see if these work out. I do have two more for uh, my older kids, um, but they've already been using theirs. So we'll have to pack those. This is a little power bank. I've had this for many years. Um, and I also recently bought two more because I know that just to use your Genie Plus, your uh, Lightning Lane things, and to use or to find your way around Disney, um, you have to use the My Experience app. And I heard it drain your, drains your phone. So they said definitely pack these. So I bought two more as well. Really cheap on Amazon. Okay, so like I said just showed you all I have the water bottles and the pillowcases as well but I also packed these clickable sharpies so that they can be really colorful um, some of the these are all from three or four years ago and so please ignore that some of the colors are missing because they dried out okay and then these two little wallets I have had for many years because like I said we've been planning we planned this trip once before and it didn't work out so um, this one was for Sophie uh, Blake and then I had to buy uh, uh, one for Rid. I never found these again and I know I got them at Walmart um, but I was really hoping to find something like this um, but I just ordered this off of Amazon so my grandmother and grandfather have been fin uh, sending the kids gift cards over the years the since the first time that we planned this trip um, they love Disney they've been so many times and they also know how expensive it can get so they would send like little holiday cards and leave Disney gift cards uh, for each of the kids also for their birthdays as well so they have racked up quite a bit of money to go on these trips except for Rid because we just had her so she does have some money and I'm sure Michael and I will probably give her um, some as well since she doesn't have it as much as them but also she's 20 months old so she doesn't even know but we'll see we'll see if she just has to you know she sees something that she's just really loving um we might get that for her but um we'll also have these somewhere on us and um so that when the kids see something that they want they can just use their money and i think that is a wonderful 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 idea it's really going to help us out and they really enjoyed getting those in the mail okay y'all this is my five-year-old daughter's haul and like I said before and I've said many times we have been planning this uh, since 2019 so most of these that you see here we have already had ready to go for that first trip oh, yeah. so um and she can still fit in those they are just not dresses they are more like tunics on her so let me go through what I have uh packed for her um because I didn't mind um you know, spending the money on these dresses or these little shirts here because um, she will wear these over and over and over and over again until they're wore out and Ridley will probably never get to wear them. So I don't mind, you know, with my Blake or my son Blake, um, he's almost nine. So he will not have as much just because I know he's only going to wear it probably down there and then his play clothes. Um, so we didn't go all out for him and he's perfectly fine with that. Um, but here we are this was the jacket i got from the jane app i absolutely love it it's a little jasmine inspired jacket oh my goodness look at that detail she loved opening it that was like her favorite thing and then all of the mickey ears that you see we have been collecting over the years even though we've never been um or we haven't been yet and um 
So all of them that you see either came from Amazon or uh, the Jane app or Walmart. So that's where I found all of mine and they were relatively like they were very cheap. Um, I'm not sure where we got the glasses years ago. I'm going to say Walmart, but it could be like TJ Maxx or something like that. Uh, she has a few nightgowns or pajama options. Um, this is what she's wearing for, sorry, I'm holding my 20 month old. So I would go through every little item for you. Um, but it's just not possible right now. Uh, so these little character shirts are just little t-shirts. Um, I got them in a pack of five, um, from Amazon and I will link those below. They are awesome. I got them for uh, Sophie and Ridley because they came in both of their sizes and they will wear these in the parks. So of course, Jasmine is their favorite, is her favorite. Wow, wow. Yeah, Moana, she's pointing to Moana. Um, so with each outfit, I do have a pair of shorts and leggings with each one just in case because we are going in the winter time and I just didn't want to be unprepared for that. Yeah, look, she's pointing at all the princesses. And then um, all these little tutus came in a pack. Sophie's already opened two of them and wore them. I figured if she wants to make her outfit a little special in the parks, um, she could. Those can actually fit both Ridley and Sophie as well. Um, they're just a little long on Rid. Hang on, baby. And um, I got those from Amazon. All of those came for like $14, $15. So I thought that was a great deal. And then all of these, like I said, most of them she mom, has mom, had mom, mom. yeah um, most of these she has had from our first plan trip uh trip and um they wore dresses then when she was like i would say in a 3t i think these are um but now they're more tunic lit sorry just let her just put her down and she is not having it hang on baby hang on so um most of these are tunic length on her. Um, I did purchase two more this year um, because her tastes have changed. Back then, she loved Lion King. That was like her favorite, and she liked Elsa. Um, and she's still a cupcake lover, so that's good. Um, so that's why that's then. Um, now, of course, Jasmine. And she loved opening this dress for Christmas. She thought that was amazing with all the characters on it. And then that she also loves Encanto. Or in Canto, I know that people say it differently. She loves that. And then here is the Simba one, Simba Inala and Zazu. And I love that she still loves Lion King um, because that's the suite that we're going to stay in at Art of Animation. Um, so we'll have that one. Um, although I don't have as much for Rid. Um, so I'm, Ridley can actually fit in some of these as well. So I may just let Ridley wear one of them because um, Ridley doesn't have as many. Hang on, baby. Yes. Hang on. Hang on. I know. Okay. Sorry, guys. She's not going to. She's just not going to do it. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to do my best. Um, here are the cupcake ones that I think that's absolutely just the cutest. Um, and then there's a frozen one. Uh, this one has kind of a lot of different characters. She has been um, Tinkerbell for Christmas or Halloween one year. And so there's Tinkerbell on this one. There's also Minnie. There's Stitch. Um, so she may wear this one actually. Um, I'm not sure probably when we go to eat at Ohana because it does have stitch on it and it's the only one that has stitch on it. Um, this one is another Lion, Lion King one that has all these beautiful jungle colors. I love it so much. And then this one is the Toy Story. So obviously Hollywood Studios, all about that. So I also have shorts or leggings for each of those. And don't ask me how I have so many shorts and leggings. I buy a lot of secondhand clothes for my kids. Um, so a lot of them are secondhand. Um, also, Sophie has been like the same size for three years. So I've just accumulated over the years. Um, so that has actually really helped for this trip because I don't know what to expect as far as weather. Um, so I do have quite a bit there. Um, there are some little princess shoes I got from Walmart. They're little frozen ones, if you can tell. Uh, she wore those for Halloween this year. And then every one of my kids got Crocs this year for uh, Christmas. And they got these little Croc charms. Um, I think those came from 
you can get those on Amazon. Um, but they can wear those. And then she actually has two pairs of tennis shoes that we will be, we will be packing as well, along with socks and underwear. And I think that's all I will have to pack for her. But thank goodness, because that's quite, that's quite a bit. But that is all of hers. And next I will show Ridley's. Okay, so I know... <laughs> I knew this was going to happen because there's just so much to talk about and show. Um, but I know that some of you are probably going to ask where I got these little dresses. Um, most of them came from um, the Jane app. And um, they have so many there. Especially these two were like most recent. Um, and they sell out quick. So you kind of have to like keep an eye on it. Um, but those two definitely. And then I'm not even sure... What does that even say? Chrissy and Couture. Or no, Chrissy Couture. Um, that one, actually all four of these. Maybe this one too. Yep. Not this one. Okay, so all five of these are Chrissy Couture. And um, I'm not even sure if I found that like on a Facebook post. I mean, like I said, these are years old. Um... But definitely check out those and try to find some um, Facebook groups where they um, sell or resell Disney clothes. And you'll be able to find some for really, really cheap, really good prices. Um, and they were not expensive at all. I think I paid like $18 for this. And the amount of time she can wear this before she grows out of it will be worth it. Absolutely. So... I also forgot to lay out swimwear just in case we have a pool day. It's very hard for me to even say pool day in winter time, but I think it is possible down there. Um, so I'm just going to pack Sophie's little Jasmine swimsuit that she got for her birthday last year. Cause she has a, a Jasmine party. It comes with that little cute little thing. Um, my mom got this for her. I think it was at the target. Target or Kohl's or something like that. But is that not the cutest little thing? She absolutely loves it. So we're going to pack that one. I don't know if we're going to have enough room to pack like a whole beach bag full of towels and things like that though. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. But I'm just going to try to put all of this away and add some underwear and some socks to it. And let's see if I can fit all of it in her little suitcase. Okay, so here's what I've done. This is my packing mom hack um that i have done for many many years and i know other moms have too um but it just really helps me to keep everything organized and i like that on a vacation i like things organized um just because it makes being in a new place much easier um i don't have to really focus about okay what is um everyone wearing other than myself because i don't pack like this for myself just for my kids um and this one actually makes it very easy because they had all these themed little outfits for this trip okay <laughs> this is sophie's suitcase and i did not pack the um, mickey ears i will pack those hopefully in mine but boy that barely fit Oh my goodness. I mean, look, we are busting at the seams. <laughs> I hope that lasts. Now, um, I will be taking some trash bags when we go so that any dirty clothes can just go in the trash bags. Um, and honestly, I don't care if they're folded or whatever on the way home because they're just going to go straight to the laundry um, as soon as we get home. And then that will obviously lighten these loads up a little bit. Um, but yeah, we're doing good. <laughs> You drive, do you know I'm looking?